Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my December TBR, which is a little out of control, and I'm going into this knowing that it is not possible that I'm going to be reading all the books mentioned here, but I'll explain a little bit why I'm making my TBR this way. So if you watched my chatty Get Ready With Me, I talked about how I wanted the December month to be all about reading sequels and finishing off series that I have started but have yet to finish. I think it'll be a really good way to end the year. And so I have compiled a list of quite a few books that I really want to finish the series of and I would hope to get to at least some of these in the month of December. Also in the month of December, I am going to Paris for the first week. I'm leaving December 1st through December 8th. So I'm very excited about that, but obviously I'm not going to be reading too much. And while I'm there, I'm hoping to reread The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. So that's kind of the book that I'm going to be reading for the first week of December. So really all of these books need to be read in the last three weeks of December. First and foremost, I mentioned this in my video also, I very much so high prioritizing getting to Crooked Kingdom by, is it Leigh Bardugo? I haven't read that book in so long. I honestly kind of forget who wrote it. This is the second book in the duology, the Six of Crows duology. I read Six of Crows two years ago and then just never picked up Crooked Kingdom. So I definitely want to finish off, put a check on that series box in my head and move on with my life from there. I definitely want to get to A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. This is the third and final book in her Darker Shades of Magic trilogy and I need to finish it. I just, I need to do it. It's a little bit of a longer one, so I don't really have much time to read it, but I guess I really want to read this anyways. I would love to finish that series before the end of the year. I've already really liked the first two books, so I'm definitely planning on finishing that as well. So a more recent read for me, I did end up reading Vicious in the month of November, so I am hoping to read Vengeful in the month of December. I've heard this is really easy to just fly through. The first one was, at least for me, Vicious, so I have high hopes for finishing Vengeful and really enjoying it in December too. Also, another series that I just read in November, I started Illuminae, and I'm hoping to at least read Gemini, or even the last and final book, Obsidio, as well. So maybe one of those books in this series I can hopefully get to. I really, really enjoyed Illuminae, so I'm very much looking forward to finishing the series. And even if I don't get to it in December, I know it won't be long until I pick up the rest of the books but those are also famous last words, so who knows. I do want to read Queen of Air and Darkness. This is Cassandra Clare's final book in her Dark Artifices series, and I kind of had fallen out of touch with that series, honestly, but I think I still desperately want to read the final book. I'm still interested enough to know what happens. I liked Lord of Shadows. It wasn't my favorite, though, but I think I'm going to enjoy Queen of Air and Darkness, and I would like to get to that since it is getting released early in December. This is coming into the more like iffy category. So these are ones that I'm not super prioritizing, but if I manage to get to one of these, that would be fantastic. The first is the third book in Louise Penny's murder mystery series. But the third one is called The Cruelest Month and she has 13 or so books in this series. There is a very long way to go for me, but I really did enjoy these books. They're just kind of cozy style mysteries and I think it would be great for the month of December. I loved both of those first books that I read by her. So I definitely want to continue with this series. I won't rush out and finish it all at once, but I'll just slowly hope to get through her series. So this one's a big iffy for me, but recently I've kind of become convinced that I do want to read it, and that's Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. So I read Strange the Dreamer when it came out, and I enjoyed it okay, but I didn't fall in love with it as much as everyone else did, and so it wasn't a big deal to me when the second book in this duology came out because I wasn't super hooked on it, but there have been so many incredible reviews for Armies of Nightmares that I think I do want to finish it sooner rather than later. So maybe I'll get to Muse of Nightmares in December, but like I said, it's not one that I'm really prioritizing. I guess it just kind of depends on when I get it from my library, when I'm going to be able to read it. There are so many books on this list, I can't believe it. One that I will most definitely be reading in December only because I know I've already started it and I have it on my Kindle right now, and that's Us Against You by Frederick Bachman. This is book two in the Bear Town series. I don't really know what the series is called, but I really did enjoy Bear Town, and I've already started Us Against You and I know I'm going to enjoy it, so that's a must for December for me. And now just throwing in two more extras here, which is so ridiculous. This is the longest TBR, but I'm just giving myself a lot of options. Like I'm covering all of the bases, you know, of what I could possibly read in December. But I also may want to read Stay With Me by Mila Gray. So this is just like a college aged romance kind of story. The first book, Come Back to Me, I really enjoyed. It was just really light and fun. So some of these books are 
heavier and more fantasy and a little more intense and so I think if I want to dial it back with something that's just kind of cutesy and romantic this would be a good sequel for me to get to because I've honestly been meaning to read this book for quite a while now but they just don't have it at my library so I'm gonna have to go out and buy it either on my kindle or like through amazon or something so that's the only reason I haven't read it yet so hopefully maybe in December I'll get to it but like I said these are ones that are a little lower on my priority list and then as if that's not enough already there are two holiday books that I would really like to read so I won these in Jesse's library giveaway she did a giveaway last year and they're these two cute little holiday stories by the same author Rayanne Tain I'm not sure how to pronounce her name but this one is Sugar Pine Trail and this one is Snowfall on Haven Point and they look really cute I read some Christmas for like romances the past couple years and I really really enjoyed them so they're also really easy for me to read these books just I can read these in a day like they're so easy for me to get through so I would ideally really like to read at least one of these this Christmas season because by the time I had gotten these books from her it was past Christmas or it was like the week of Christmas I can't remember but I didn't have time to read them last year so I really would like to get to one of these really soon. If you've read either of these, let me know which you preferred so that I can prioritize reading that one. So that wraps up my insane December TBR. That is not even possible, but there it is. I thought I would just end the year with a big bang and I'm probably only going to read three books in December anyway. So whatever. Thank you so much for watching and happy reading.